This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Well guys, today we're going to do a subscriber request. And it is actually a redo of a video that I did uh, a long time ago, and it was regarding suspended chains, okay? So instead of modeling individual chain segments and positioning them manually so it looks like uh, the chain is suspended, why not add dynamic properties to them and have Maya do the work for you, okay? So that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's uh, jump in and check it out. Here we go. Okay guys, we're back in Maya 2017 and we're going to revisit uh, a golden oldie. Uh, I did a similar video a few years back on how to create a chain and have the chain elements uh, respond to each other and their surroundings in a natural way. So we're going to model it, we're going to add some dynamics. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to suspend it between um, two uh, brackets, if you will, so you can see how it interacts with them as well. All right, cool. So what we're going to do is we're first going to start with our brackets. Actually, let's start with our room first. We'll take a polygon cube, let R to scale that up to about there. Then we'll hit W to pull up like so. We're going to right click at a face, one, two, and three and only these three let's hit delete and then we're gonna right click go to object mode select our entire object and we're gonna go to uh let's see where is it here mesh display and reverse to reverse the normals so we now have gray at this end and black at this end okay so let's deal with our brackets we're gonna take a polygon torus Hit W, pull that up. Let's deal with the thickness. We'll hit Control A to adjust that. And let's set that thickness to 0 0.2. And let's have a look. Yeah, it looks okay. Then we're gonna jump to our top view and we're gonna cut that in half. So we're gonna right click, go to face, drag, select these and delete those. And then we're gonna right click at object mode and in this view, we're gonna push that in until it's at our wall. Maybe we can give it, make it a bit bigger, just so we can see what's going on there, okay? All right, well, it is quite thick, and I want to have a little bit more room for my chain, so I'll do that, okay? Just check from the top here to make sure that it's sitting okay. Alrighty, now we can hit three to smooth that if you like. We don't really have a restriction here, it just looks better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to, uh, uh, let's see, mesh and smooth. Yeah, it looks fine. Then we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate. We're gonna hit W to move out like so. E to rotate, hold down J to snap it, 90 degrees. Hit W and move that in until we get to that wall. And again, we're gonna to go to the top, hit F to zoom in, and make sure it's sitting where it should. All right, so now that we have that, let's create our chain and have it respond the way it should to all the elements in our scene. So I'm gonna drag select all of this stuff. I'm gonna to go to Mesh and uh, Combine, like so. And then I'm gonna create my first chain element. So we'll take a new polygon torus. I'm gonna to pull that up. I have to zoom in, control A. I don't want my channel box, so I want my attribute editor, control A. And let's do 20 by 20 is fine, I guess. Yeah, that's okay. So we're gonna to jump to our top view. We're gonna hit F to zoom in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, first adjust the thickness, hang on. That's what I was doing. Sorry about that. Um, 0 0.2, 0 0.15 maybe even. Yeah, 0 0.15 is fine, okay? And then we're gonna right click at a face. We're gonna drag, select half of this, pull that out to about here. And as you can see, this side is slightly thicker than that one. So we're gonna hit R and we're just gonna slightly scale that in, not too much. The alternative would be to add a bunch of subdivision and so on. 
So I'm doing it that way, okay? Right click object mode. And now again, we don't have any poly count restriction right now. So I'm just gonna go to uh, mesh and smooth just because I can, so why not? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to position this near our wall bracket, okay? So we're gonna bring that down. We're gonna hit E to flip it. We're gonna hold down J to rotate it 90 degrees like so. That looks all right. And then let's scale it a little bit. So we're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that in. And the only thing you need to do is make sure that it's not touching anything, okay? Now we're gonna kind of aim it towards our other bracket. So I have to zoom in and it's over there. So we're gonna hit E to rotate that, hold down J and we're gonna start to kind of move that towards that point as far as we can, maybe a little bit back. And then we're gonna hit W and we're gonna move it over here somewhere, okay? And we should have kind of a straight shot towards where we need to be. Maybe we'll have to adjust it a little. But like I said, make sure you're not touching anything. Okay, cool. So now that we have that one, let's go to modify and center pivot. We're gonna hit control D to duplicate that guy. We're gonna double click on the move tool and we're gonna change that from world orientation to object orientation. So the arrow is now pointing in the same way as my object is. So I can hit control D to duplicate, move that over, hit E to rotate once again and hold down J to snap that in 90 degrees once again. And now that I have that done, I'm gonna select them both. Control D to duplicate, W to move over as before. And I'll just do Shift D and Shift D once more, okay? Now we need to do a little cleanup exercise here. That one needs to go, okay? We're gonna take this entire thing and what we're definitely not gonna do is we're not gonna combine it. You don't wanna do that. So we got that. We're gonna hit Control G to duplicate. Uh, sorry, to group. Sorry, not duplicate, to group. We're gonna go to Modify and Center Pivot. And we're gonna hit E and we're gonna start to rotate that and position that. And you can see that I got one chain element there that's kind of copied in that shouldn't have happened. That's roughly the right orientation. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take that single one right there, get rid of it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to take the individual parts and try to create some room. So we're able to manipulate the position of the last one. Let's see how this works out. Okay, so that needs to be there. We'll go back like so. Yeah, there we go, okay. So none of the chain elements are touching each other. Nothing is touching the brackets on the wall and so forth, okay? This is one object and these guys are individual objects as you remember, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the individual chain elements like so, okay? And I'm gonna go into my FX menu. I'm gonna go to fields and solvers and I'm gonna create an active rigid body for these chains sections. And it looks like it jumped a little. I'm not sure why exactly. But because of that, what I now need to do is take my room and adjust that position. I've never seen that before, but that's okay. All right. Yeah, we're still good. So that is all added. Yep. And then we're gonna take our room with our brackets that has been selected and we're gonna to go to create 
passive rigid body. Then we're going to take our chain elements once again and select them one by one and we're going to go to fields and we're going to add gravity. Okay. Now in our slider down here, we're going to make sure that we have, let's say at least 200 frames for animation. And we're just going to zoom in a little bit here. And what I'll do just for the heck of it is go to create light and let's do a directional light just so we have some shading going on. I'm going to hit seven on my keyboard. That's right there. Hit seven on my keyboard to activate that light. Let's uh, point it. So I hit E to rotate like so. Okay, and now let's give this a go and hopefully this worked out. Okay, so let's hit play. We'll give that a sec. It's calculating. Hopefully it's not freezing up anything. Yeah, it's still going. I'll just wait until that is all done. So I'll just pause the video. Alright guys, well there you have it. There's our suspended uh, chain and that's all there's to it. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know as always. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.